First thing that comes to my mind when I hear uh, Bobby Cox is uh, how professional he has been throughout his career as manager of the Braves. Bobby kind of stands for excellence. If you look at his career, uh, the things that he's been able to accomplish for a long period of time, you know, speaks volumes of, of his ability. Imagine trying to go to the playoffs 14 times in a row in any professional sport. You don't do anything 14 times in a row that is excellent. I think one thing that really jumps out at me is the respect that his players have for him. Every player that has ever played for him has said that he's been the best manager that they've ever played for. When you see him in that dugout, I mean, the way he's giving instructions to his players and the way he's talking to them, uh, it's almost like a, a sense of reassurance. He, he seems to help build their confidence in the game. Cox is just a symbol of getting it done. I look at his accomplishments and you have to be in awe a little bit of that. Work your way up through their system, uh, managing at some different stops, and uh, make your way to the big league ball club as a coach, I believe in 1977. Right. And I've heard you say before that Ralph Houck had a lasting impression on you in terms of the way maybe you manage today or the way you try to treat people because he made such a big influence on you. Uh, I think everybody in that clubhouse would have gone to war uh, for Ralph at any time. And, he treated the 25th guy just as he treated the uh, the superstars on the team and that kind of stuck in my mind and I had played for a lot of managers in the minor leagues and watched other managers you know in the other dugout manage a ball game and things like that so you know you, you, you take a little bit from each one and cross out some that you didn't like and the way they acted and uh, try to incorporate that you know you still have to be yourself and basically I am myself but then I can always go back to Ralph Howe.